Hey, what's going on, everyone? We, uh, we're we here at the storage unit again. We have our sales to pull from the weekend. And I just wanted to start the video here because look, it's it's snowing and it's actually snowing more than the last snow day we had and the two hour delay. So the kids are at school today. It is Monday, uh, but we're going to head on in. We have, how many sales you got? I probably have, um, I know I had 20 yesterday and I think I printed a few more this morning. So okay, 25 so or so. 25 or so. Let's head on in and pull the sales. All right, so we're in the unit, no lights yet. <laughs> still uh, still deciding on the exactly what we're gonna do. We've had a lot of great suggestions, but uh, just trying to uh, figure out the best option for us in, in our spare time, <laughs> so. That doesn't exist. That doesn't, yeah, that's why it's taking a little while. All right. I did tell these Dr. Scholes these came from Benzmas, so I had a 207 cost of goods into 2121 plus shipping. Uh, these are a woman's five, so I'm pretty happy with that price for and these sold in like a day or two of being listed, which I was super surprised about. All right, AE sold some women's keens. Um these sold within a few days of being listed. I paid $12.99 for them. Um, they sold for $33.96 plus shipping. Got a viewer sale. Oh, nice. Going out to Chrissy. Thank you, Chrissy. Um, BR. This is a, a light situation. Maybe I should hold your phone in my <laughs> other hand. Oh. It's because I she bought two things and I thought I was oh, looking for the other things. So this I is see. one of them, the Converse. <laughs> Sorry, I have gum in my mouth. I should have spit that out. <laughs> um, and then, is it DG? Is that one? This is what she has on her labels, if anybody was interested. Oh, wait, this is it. DG. Yeah. All right. Pair of girls, Columbia shorts. These are from my, like, 100 item challenge. And then, yeah, the Converse. So Chrissy bought these. She offered me $50 on Posh for both. I had $2.99 into the shorts, $7.50 into the Converse. So thank you awesome. so much, Chrissy. Chrissy, thank you so much for the support. We appreciate it very much. Yeah. All right, DH. Another item from my 105 item challenge, which was mostly kid stuff. I think it's exclusively kid stuff yeah. that day. Um, so, I mean, it sounds like not a lot of profit, but my goal with that day was to make like an average of $10 profit per item, which, so this one is a Ralph Lauren, just plaid button up, um, bought for two fifty, sold for 12. That's about an $8 profit. Some of them I've been making 12, 15. So yeah, I think once they all sell, it'll be right about that $10. But yeah, that was just my goal. Knowing that if I could list that all in a day, make essentially a thousand dollars profit when it all sells. Yeah, and it's been about two months now, huh? Uh, yeah, Maybe so November 30th. <clears throat> I don't know how many things sold up. Probably not. Happy. Yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe we should do an update at the end yeah. of this month. Like, um, uh, I know I definitely am in the profit. Yeah. Now, which is what I bought. These are them. I'm getting nervous <laughs> because of like <laughs> the darkness, just like that. I'm picking the wrong thing, but. There's no other Skechers in there. So yeah, these are Skechers men, just the clip on black sneaker, but for $8.99, so for $31 plus shipping on Mercari. Skechers, man. Yeah. I'm telling you. Alright, BX. BX. Here. Way in the corner. Yarn from Benzmas. Yarn. Yeah. Uh, so I had a dollar eighty-six cost of goods that day. This sold for nine thirty-one plus shipping. So not huge, but I kind of just leave it. It's perfectly good. <laughs> I have to get it. Hey, it sold too. It so. was super easy to list. Yeah. All right. A Y. So 
of these Polar Ralph Lauren, just like a chino short. Um, they are new at tag, so I did pay up for these at $12.99. They sold for $33.96 plus ships, so not horrible. More than doubling my money. Yeah. All right, box you. Right there. sandals. I feel like the value is going down a little on these. It's still pretty good. Like, I would definitely still buy them. And they've still been selling fast. Uh, these ones I paid $7.99. Sold for $33.96 plus ship. I feel like previously per pre-owned, I could get closer to $50 almost. Okay. Um, but yeah, still really great. Easy flip. Alright, box T. are some zero barefoot shoes bought for $7.99 sold for $40 plus ship on eBay. Alright, CJ. Hi, Jay. Right here, babe. <laughs> I, know. I have to sing this song. <laughs> you know how many times head. I go through the alphabet oh. a day when we do these? <laughs> Alright, this is that Eloquy top that I got at Binsmas. So dollar sixty one cost of goods into twenty one twenty one plus shipping. Okay. That was my first time selling that brand. It sold fairly quickly, so I would probably pick it up again um, if I found it for cheap enough. Um, this is I don't know if it's just built or B Y L T. Like I don't know oh. how you pronounce it, but. It's like that Instagram brand I kind of talked about during Benzimus when I found it. This was a pretty faded shirt. I mainly picked it up just so I could show you guys it. Try it um, out. To tell you if if you do find it, especially in better shape, it's definitely worth grabbing. Mm -hmm. This one, cost of goods that day was $2.44. It's over 14 with discount shipping. So I made a few bucks. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that one was just not in the best of shape. So let us know. Do you guys think it's built or is it like by LT or? <laughs> by LT. No, I mean like is LT like initials? Is it by this, you know, Leonard Theodore? I don't know, whatever. <laughs> what is that called? Like an acronym or something? Yeah. All right. So this Oakley flannel, I did pay $6.99 for it. I knew I was going to make a ton of money off of this, but I knew it would sell fast and it did. So $6.99 into 2014 plus ship in about a week or so of being listed. Okay. I like Oakley stuff. Um, the flannel had a really good sell-through rate on it, so yeah. Oh, the slumberkin. This is a little. Oh, the little B. Yeah, actually. So I just bought my kids some Valentines. Like they have cards, and then also just um, they had a new character come out. So we buy them all whenever they come out. Anyways, the day I bought their Valentine's ones, they were giving away a free B mini with your purchase. So. Yeah. We already have the B, so I sold this one for twelve seventy one plus shipping. So all profit minus the eBay fee. Cool. Alright, box L. Uh, this is that outer known sweater. Um, I know I mentioned it could probably sell around forty when I bought it last week. Mm -hmm. But then when I was looking up comps, there was none listed that in this exact style, anyways, and then I did see some comps a little bit higher than 40, like maybe like 50 to 60. So I think I priced mine at 59.95 on eBay. Priced it at 79 on Posh, but I got an offer of 38. And I only paid 6.99, so I was like, I don't know. I debated a while. I didn't accept the <laughs> offer right away. I think I waited like an hour or two, and I was just like, you know, that's over $20 profit. I'll just take it. So I do think I could have probably got a little bit more, but then also, it's fair it's a fair offer yeah yeah you know a lot of the other i just feel like this the rainbow type stripe was kind of like a cooler one than a basic yeah color. i liked that shirt that was so, cool yeah you know a lot of the comps are around 40 so i thought it was fair mm -hmm. um the buyer still paid poshmark shipping taxes and everything so they're in around 50 dollars. So. and you still made a decent profit off yeah. it so and fast i like fast yeah I always tell myself in my head, what if I never get another offer again? And then I went to delist it on eBay and there was nine watchers on it within like a, it literally sold within like a day of being listed too. Right. So definitely below that brand. Thanks Thrift Delight for yeah. mentioning it. That's why I watch like everybody's videos. Cause yeah. you just never know. Like I didn't know about half the brands I sell when I first started reselling. So. I mean, I don't think he watches us, but. <laughs> no, I, I know he doesn't. But <laughs> I'm saying do, like, yeah. this is why I just like watch everyone like you just learn something different from everyone everyone sells different stuff and for sure you guys should go watch him especially if you're interested in men's yeah. brands that guy's like the 
the guru on all that. Yeah. Um, so these are Asics wrestling shoes. These are just the easiest thing to sell ever. <laughs> Bought for $7.99, sold for $33.96 plus ship in just a day or so. All right, so we wanted to cut in here real quick and thank Mandy. Mandy bought us five coffees, and what did she say? She said, I just started using your spreadsheet 2.0, and it is just what I needed. I'm so grateful. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mandy. Mandy that was very kind. Thank you so much. We just got some coffee. We just wanted to thank you for that. <laughs> All right, got a Kittison bundle. Box tea. You walked past it. Riley and crew swimming trunks. These were all my kids' clothes. Had about 10 into the whistle and flute, 20 into the childhoods. I don't remember what I paid for these or where I got them, but I'm just considering this kind of like a break even. Probably lose a few dollars overall, but my kids got to wear them. Bundle sold for $55 plus shipping. Okay. Not too bad. All right, AU. So I don't know if you realize, but you said you lose a few. I lose a few. <laughs> so, if you guys don't know, we do have kids, and we lose say things dollars. funny on you know on purpose sometimes, and we don't realize we say it when when the kids aren't around. Yeah. So <laughs> I wanted to point that out so that. No, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> like we say, bubble pops for like the. I don't even, the, I, mean, I lose a few dollars. What's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, this was Oh this person bought actually I had two of them and they bought both of them. I forgot. Oh okay. Oh, that was cool. Two A6 camo, like a tan camo short. Bought for I bought each of them for $8.92 times two. So $17.84 cost of goods for both into $42.42 plus shipping. Okay. So I like when people buy two of my multi quantities. Yeah. Yeah, buy them all, please. <laughs> DS. This is a tailored stitch. So definitely below this brand. Just a basic hemming and a, a small size too. Uh, bought this at Plato's Closet for $6.40. Sold it for 28 plus ship. That was an offer I sent out and this probably would have sold closer to 40, but like I had just listed another shirt almost like this. And when I like was looking at like sending offers on eBay, I thought I was sending it on this other shirt that I got from the bins. Oh. Um, so I probably wouldn't have sent an offer of 28, but anyways, right. they accept it. It's still a good profit. I'm still yeah. happy with the sale. But um, yeah, this probably could have sold closer to 40 plus shipping. But yeah, definitely Bolo Taylor Stitch, especially their denim. Right, it's funny that kind of happened uh, this this morning. You're like, can you oh, go yeah. accept twenty five dollars on that offer? I don't know why, like on my phone, when someone asks me to send an offer, because like in your email it says reply with offer. But yeah. When I click on that. It always like makes me resign in, and I just get frustrated. So I'm like, can you do it? Because his doesn't do that. So he's sending the offer, but then somebody else had asked for twenty five on literally a different item. Yeah. So he saw that and sent it because that's what I told him to do. But like, he didn't realize there was two, and neither did I. Right. Thankfully, I would have accepted twenty five on either. So they both right, had to offer. Right. Thankfully, it wasn't like a hundred and fifty dollars pair actually, of shoes. Actually, that or just reminds me. I'll pull it next. I that one. Oh, it because did. Because it happened after we left the house. After we had printed all these, I just wrote it on my phone. So yeah. So I don't know if the second person paid for theirs. But, I, yeah. But the one did. So, anyways, uh, these are some Adidas. These were from my hundred item challenge. Bought it once upon a child for eight. Sold on Posh for thirty five. Cool. Pull that one before I forget because I literally almost forgot. Oh. Uh, D.I. was a D -I. Eddie jacket. The only D.I. in Colorado. All right. Nobody knows what your joke means. <laughs> Desert Industries, <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I, wish, I wish we had that. I wish we had it. I mean, I'm sure somebody else has a box D.I. or whatever, but... <laughs> Yeah, more uh, reference to the desert industries that we that wish was, was cool here. That was in Utah, yeah. Yeah. 
Um, so this is just an Eddie Bauer, like, soft shell jacket. I got this from the bins. I didn't write down what my cost of goods was, but assume between a dollar and two dollars. Yeah. Into 25 plus shipping. Very nice. The other thing was a pair of Skechers, which we don't have enough don't service if, to yeah. see if the seal came through, so. Which yeah. was the original, no, that was the one that I accidentally yeah. <laughs> <laughs> asked or sent an offer on. Okay. those Corey Birch from the Ben Smiths. I almost left these because they were in pretty rough shape. Um, I guess they weren't as rough as I thought. It's just like they were kind of like the leather was, I don't oh, know. Oh yeah, the little sheen but on I mean, the your foot is going to be there in anything anyways. They're, they're honestly not in bad shape. The soles were not that bad. Yeah. So I paid $1.61 cost of goods that day. These sold for 40 That was an offer I accepted on Posh. I think I only listed them at like 59 you know, in like perfect condition, maybe you could get closer to 80 to 100, but a yeah. dollar 61 into 40 is amazing to me. Okay, AI. Straight there. Right here, is this right. the one? The one that says AI, is yeah. this it? I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Feisty today. Uh, <laughs> these, these, this is a little girl Under Armour swimsuit I bought for $5 retail arbitrage and accepted a $15 offer on Poshmark. Cool. Hanging. Yeah, we did uh, end up transferring the hanging stuff in here. I guess I should bring the hanger home, huh? Yeah, probably. So we'll just hang this somewhere for now. But yeah, this is that Wrangler. It's like a quilt lined jacket. Bought for $8.99, accepted a $30 offer on Posh for that. Yeah, let's hang it right here. Hopefully it doesn't pull the door down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, DS. It's just I listed a day or two ago. I've been trying to bring stuff here, like at least like a bunch of stuff each day and put it away. Yeah. My big goal today after we do this video and I ship my items is just like get everything bagged up that's not bagged up yet. So uh, these are some Under Armour sneakers. I bought, I just bought these I think in a video last week. Yeah. So I did average my cost of goods I think from all, that was like the snow day haul I think. Mm. So the two places I stopped, I just went ahead and divided them all up. So each shoe came out to 973. So okay. that's my cost of goods until 47 with discount shipping on those. Really fast. All right, AI. You remember where that one is? I've listened to me like three times, have we? <laughs> uh, this is a kid's Dekine rash guard, and I actually bought this for my son, but he just never ended up wearing it. So I bought it at Goodwill, though, for 99 cents, and it sold for $20 on Posh. I'm still making a good little profit there. Nice. Love it when that happens. Yeah, I always, I love shopping for them when I'm out and about because, yeah, they can usually wear it and I still make some money. And I'm a little bit of a brand snob. I'm like clothing <laughs> for the, especially for the kids. These ones came from the bins. 205 cost of goods into $31 with discount shipping on Poshmark. Very nice. Yeah, a couple more in the hat basket. Bottom. The apple door. bottom. <laughs> and this was also from the bins. Dollar twenty one cost of goods that day into fourteen ninety five plus shipping. So. Cool. Yeah. This had. I mean, obviously, it didn't sell for much. This had a lot of interest. So uh, apparently, That's interesting. apple bottoms is something people are looking Not for. Not just right jeans, now. <laughs> huh? <laughs> and the jeans are probably better seller. <laughs> oh, I'm going to eight and not eight. Animal cat sandals, paid $12.99, sold for $42.46 plus shipping. Cool. And AB, lastly. Last one, AB. Some Mephisto all rounder shoes, bought for $6.50, sold for $50.96 plus shipping. Sweet. Yeah. Okay, we might to fit them all in here. Good deal. All right. So we didn't show how they're all going to be shipped, <laughs> right. but uh, we do have a lot going on today. So we're probably just going to end it here. Unless you had something else you wanted to say. No? Maybe? Yes? No? <laughs> I don't think 
so. <laughs> So guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and supporting us. We do appreciate that. And we'll see you guys next time.